Did you know that the average app loses 90% of its users within the first 30 days of downloading and 95% ignoring it completely within the first 90 days? These statistics prove that the competition for app installs is at an all-time high and app marketers need to do more than just simply show up in order to accomplish repeat app usage. Hi, my name is Fanola and I'm part of the customer success team here at Pulsate. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can create a strong onboarding process in order to engage users and get usage beyond the download. So let's get into it. So what is onboarding? Onboarding is basically the first time you take a first time user through your app. It's your opportunity to introduce, demonstrate and give the best first impression of what your app is. In markets as competitive as the app and Google Play stores, you want to find a way for your app to stand out in this market. So I'm going to talk to you today about the eight benefits of creating a strong onboarding process. So number one, the benefits. Tell your users the benefits of why they should be using your app and not to go through all the features. Also, give the option to opt out. So for users, users who don't want to have to go through the onboarding process, they can just opt out at any time. Number two, the value proposition. So highlight the value proposition in the first page of the onboarding, or onboarding strategy. Give a little brief synopsis of what the app is about. For example, look at Twitter's. Get real-time updates about what matters to you. You know what the app is presenting. And Foursquare helps you find places you'll love anywhere in the world. They follow this up with a strong call to action saying, get started, so the user knows exactly what they want, the app wants them to do next. Number three is color. So follow the color scheme that is already presented in the app. Highlighted bright colors against plain backgrounds work best as the user knows where to bring their eye to next. Number four is avoid too much text. We live in the digital age where we like things quite fast and immediate. If you have users reading too much text, they're gonna get bored, disengaged, and they're gonna opt out of the onboarding process, never mind going through the app again. So the app and Play Stores are great if you do have a lot of information that you want to tell your users. It's a great resource there and you can watch Patrick's video on App Store optimization. Number five is language. Use a language that is accessible to all users. Make it human and friendly, non-robotic. Number six, you want to indicate, indicate the progress. Tell your users how many steps they have to completion. This is often used, illustrated with dots, numbers and arrows at the bottom of each page of the onboarding process. And also, like I said in number one, give the opportunity for, to the user to, to skip or to opt out at any point through the onboarding. Number seven, onboarding animations. This is a good way of helping your app stand out. It's fun and interesting and it's engaging and making the user experience quite unique. Number eight, login options. So sign up pages account for 60% of the drop off rate of, um, in the onboarding process. So if it's relevant, use social login through Facebook and Twitter. And this means that users don't have to input their personal details and they're more likely to follow through and come back to your app again. So just to recap on those eight points, we looked at the benefits of the user um, using your app, the value proposition, the color, avoiding too much text, using a nice friendly language, uh, indicating the progress of where they are in the onboarding uh, process, also uh, onboarding animations as an option to use, while also looking at login options as well, using social login, such as Facebook and Twitter. So that's it from me today. If you have any comments or queries, you can leave them below or catch us on Twitter at Pulsate HQ. See you next time. Did you know that the average app... I like... Did you know that the average... Oh yeah, okay. And they're going to opt out of the onboarding process before they even get to the end, obviously. <laughs> that was a good one.